Welcome back everyone, Toys Shus here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. NECA Toys took to their YouTube channel to give us a brand new look at some things they got cooking up coming soon for all of us fans out there. And just keep in mind, this is just to get us to the fall, right? Just to the end of summer. So these are all the things that they've had in the works. Here's a little bit of an update. And then come October time, they will have so much more to show off. So you got a little bit here, and when I say a little bit, it's really a lot of it, and then you'll have a whole heck of a lot of it more coming soon, which is, yeah, it's exactly what we want. But I want to point out that this was a fun presentation. The people behind this, you can tell, are very passionate. They know what they're doing. It shows getting the costumes right, the accessories right, how they talk about it. Yeah, it's hokey, and they joke around, and they laugh, and everything else, but you can tell that Within, you know, the, all this toy nonsense, these are the people that I want making the toys. So, it was hosted by the one and only Mr. Blaine Rodenbaugh, and he was joined by the one and only Randy Falk, and they kicked it off with some brand new Back to the Future action. So, you have Griff Tannen, which they kind of sort of showed off here and there lately, but we got a better look at the figure. He has Tom Wilson's likeness. They said it was kind of crazy that... You know, you're dealing with Christopher Lloyd and Michael J. Fox and Tom Wilson and all these actors. It's crazy that they're making figures nowadays. And you get to hang out and talk to these actors and talk about their likeness and they got input. So, very cool. And you got the hoverboard coming with them, telescoping bats, and two head portraits. And then they teased. They said, you know, hey, we're not done with Doc Brown. They have an 85, 1985's Doc Brown. This is the ultimate Doc Brown in his Twin Pines Mall kind of hazmat suit from the beginning of the movie. He will have a clipboard, notepad, and then maybe some other accessories here and there. But it's in prototype stage, so you get a good look at the figure, but they'll have full looks and everything else coming later. And then they said that, hey, with all these accessories, they do have a Back to the Future accessory set planned. No further word on when this will come out, but one is in the works. Then we got to Mr. Randy Fox, one of a very, a very passionate project of Defenders, Defenders of the Earth. And then they're going to be going Defenders, but the classic pulp comic book look. So way before Defenders of the Earth, but utilizing those body sculpts that they have. You have Flash Gordon, comes with a classic blaster, sword. You have the Phantom, which I particularly like. He's got the the striped shorts and everything else, two blasters, two gun holsters, his skull and certain elements on the costume will actually glow in the dark, which is awesome. And then you also have Ming the Merciless. Now keep in mind, they didn't show everything about these, but they did say they will come with extra hands, extra head portraits, and they will be everywhere in stores this fall. So wherever you buy your NECA stuff, you'll be able to grab this. No exclusivity, and I really like the skull head <laughs> for the phantom that's pretty cool and they also said that there will be more coming in 2022 they would like to do stuff with zorro more stuff with mandrake classic pulp heroes comics everything else so expect a lot more for this particular brand from neca toys then they went on to say it's the flash gordon 40th anniversary the old movie right now neca toys does not have the license for this movie but they wanted to do something to really pay an homage to it. So coming the end of summer, mid to late September, both online and at Walmart stores exclusively, there will be the Flash Gordon 40th anniversary, not spot on to the source material. It's the movie homage. It's got Flash Gordon. It's got Ming. It looks great. Very cool. Very, very red <laughs> costumes all the way around so again look for this the end of summer mid to late september online and at walmart and then which was actually pretty cool randy went on to talk about how he loved his old-fashioned ming the merciless and the flash gordon figures and all those pulp heroes well they're going to be putting them on an old classic blister card straight from 1979 these will be yes in that seven inch scale just like the other ones Completely different head sculpts on these, available in August, both online and as a Target 
exclusive. And I, when I say August in and around, keep in mind dates change, Target doesn't put things up, <laughs> spot on, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, that's, uh, that's just one thing to point out. So Mr. Randy Fark had to run, he had to go make some new toys or whatever he does in his little workshop, and they brought in Gina Di Domenico, and she is actually a concept artist, and she works on the boys, and she kind of showed off some designs for upcoming the boys action figures, including Black Noir, who looks great, looks like he stepped right out of the TV show. I guess they were joking, you know, he's got knives hidden everywhere. Now, keep in mind, this is a prototype, but yes, this is semi what the figure will look like in the end stages. This is slated for a later date, so more the boys action figures are coming. And then they went over A-Train. Now, they didn't have much to show off for A-Train. They kind of just went back and forth, kind of showed the bottom half. So he's not completely done. They had just a little tease of him, but Yes, A-Train and Black Noir are the next two figures coming for the boys' NECA toys line. And then moving into the horror element, Stefan Falcons, the horror expert for NECA toys. This guy is busy. <laughs> they went over an upcoming Bride of Chucky creepy two-pack that will be coming soon. The, I always want to say Jennifer Tilly, you know what I mean? Just because, I don't know, she'll have a wired dress, so look for this two-pack coming soon. Then you have for the 40th anniversary, I think a lot of people are going to really dig this, Halloween 40th anniversary two-pack featuring Michael Myers and Dr. Loomis in the Ultimates line. So, both will have a digitally printed face deco, right? Each will come with about two head portraits, New face sculpts, retro cloth head for Dr. Loomis has been now scaled down to this ultimate line. So it's basically the same head, they just scaled it down. And then Michael Myers will have the bloody tears mask sort of deal. Really hardcore fans, they changed the look of the suit in the terms of the color. So he'll have a more darker teal to match the movie better. It comes with weapons hammer, syringe, small pumpkin from the movie poster, and then Loomis, <laughs> this is actually pretty cool, Loomis will sport the Halloween 2 trench coat, he'll have interchangeable arms so you can remove the trench coat and just have him in a suit, comes with two guns, one of course for Lori, and he'll also have a hand, a sculpted hand with a lighter in there to which he can then set Michael Myers on fire. So Michael Myers will come with a ton of clip-on fire effects flame on right he's doing his best human torch impression that's a pretty that's a pretty cool two-pack i have to say now i collect i have some of the horror stuff but that <laughs> the fact that you can light michael myers on fire that's pretty dang cool then they kind of showed off a tease for 2022 they got two more anniversary sets a coming the first one being for the creep show this will be a new ultimate creep based on the old-fashioned movie come with a candle wired robe nothing to show just a little tease of the poster but this on the other hand yeah they have the thing from 1982 40th anniversary station survival mccready comes with a flamethrower petri dish if you look at the petri dish it has a little piece of tape with the name of the blood donor on it so that's very cool and they they said in so many ways lots more things to come next year so get ready for that over in the universal monsters look right they have the wolfman which they showed off so you're really kind of getting two figures in one you can do human or wolfman and then they said now eh, here's our next tease and they showed this <laughs> and they tongue-in-cheek joked around well we may or may not be teasing an invisible man we'll have to see what they come up with but one tease that they did show is the boris karloff mummy so absolutely no word on availability absolutely nothing said other than basically here's the tease deal with it <laughs> which is fine by me moving on into predators and aliens they did go over the predator lost tribe they'll have 10 predators total so more lost tribe is coming and they'll have more to reveal soon over in Aliens. Now, these are aliens that I picked up a while ago. These are from the, what, Marvel vs. No, not Marvel vs. Capcom. This is from the Capcom Alien vs. Predator game. You got the Arachnoid, the Chrysalis, those types of aliens. 
they're going to be re-releasing them in movie deco type colors. So you got more slime, more realistic to what, hey, maybe these aliens did appear in some of the films. You just never saw them. They will be three separate releases, three separate figures, and they will set to release somewhere in and around the end of this year. So look for those as well. Those are actually really cool figures. I don't I don't know if I'm going to get them because I have the other ones and I really like the colors on them. But hey, you know what? Things could change once I'm in the store. You never know. And to go over Gremlins, they teased a Gremlins Demolition 2-pack from Gremlins 2, the new batch. Tons of accessories and more to announce accessories. And they joked around that it's basically an accessories pack, but you're getting two Gremlins figures as well and they said oh you know what any more gremlins now we're done with gremlins okay here's one more the smart gremlin the brain is coming soon absolutely no info on this guy just the fact of he's coming soon and there'll be more announcements later now remember when gargoyles come alive evil can't survive because they're gargoyles they showed off the packaging this is what i'm really excited about this packaging for the upcoming goliath figure which looks tremendous just hands down i cannot wait for this he is coming soon probably in the next couple months or so and then the big reveal which they've teased but now we got the full-on look demona two head portraits both a sly and a growling head portrait she's got her book of spells she's got extra hands two laser guns and articulated wings she looks fantastic I am so stoked on this Gargoyles line. I'm ready for all of them, right? And then they joked, well, okay, you kind of got a semi-bad guy. Sometimes she's good, sometimes she's bad. Well, how about just an all-out bad guy? And they teased Thalog will be the next Gargoyle in the set coming soon after Demona. So got Goliath, you got Demona, and now you got Thalog. And he's got new head sculpt, different from Goliath's, obviously. Flare gun and a money briefcase, straight from the episodes. So, yeah, go back and watch those. You'll probably see those. That's what I mean. The attention to detail. They're always on it. And then this guy shows up, Mr. Trevor Zammett. Awesome, dude. He's the TMNT guy and a half right here. He went over the loot crate Danny Pennington, kind of showed him off. Then they went straight into the ultimate Casey Jones. And this time around, they got Elias Cotiez's actor likeness, which is awesome. That's what everyone was waiting for right so he will be the ultimate casey jones showed off the box showed off little elements comes with a bunch of weapons little tidbits little things thrown in that you can recreate scenes then they moved into more secret of the use figures we got the shredder coming with the purple outfit he's got a new cape comes with the ooze canister he comes with a vial of ooze right as trevor man <laughs> mentioned from the vanilla ice concert and he also comes with a sword and a little bouquet of flowers as well <laughs> that's the attention to detail we all love right and if all these shredders weren't enough there is going to be the walmart exclusive another one the super super shredder as i'm just gonna call it no and if you're wondering the stand does not come with him it's just the figure so you got some new tooling overall on the figure it's an homage to the original european playmates super shredder figure Kevin Nash was heavily thought of when making this. They have an inspired sort of spiked out wrestling belt, which is cool. And he has one heck of a mutated iridescent cape, which <laughs> I don't know. I just, again, it just it makes me laugh. I think that this stuff is so ridiculous, but it's so cool. The thought process and everything else that goes into making these. Now, the thing that next to Gargoyles, this was the one I was waiting for. They got into the TMNT Cartoon Turtles that are Target Store exclusive. So they showed off Antrax and Scumbug. Kind of went over them a little bit. Those are coming up. Those were also pre-orders from the NECA store a couple months back. They will be at Target in the fall. And then they briefly teased. Now this is interesting to kind of go away from the Cartoon Turtles for just a second. They hinted heavily hinted at the fact that there is more mirage tmnt comic book figures coming maybe even a full line they don't know yet they got the mutated shredder that is coming in the loot crate and then they tease this image of a fugitoid they didn't show too much they showed you just enough to hook you but yeah a fugitoid mirage comics tmnt figure is coming at some point 
down the line. But to get back into the TMNT cartoon turtles, this is a big one. God, I've been waiting to talk about this. This is so cool. Dirtbag and Ground Chuck, two awesome mutants, articulated jaws, hands, accessories. You can twist Dirtbag off at the waist, put him into the sculpted dirt, and it looks like he's burrowing out. These are two massive giant figures. This is great. Hands down, this is, if not my favorite line to be collecting right now. I love the colors, I love the looks, the cell shaded. We've never had turtle figures like this before, straight from the cartoon. I absolutely love it, but I love this even more. Finally, fan favorite, my favorite, Wingnut and Screwless. These look fan freaking tastic These were originally supposed to be an ultimate single kind of thing where Screwless would just be the thing. It's going to turn into a two-pack and they're going to load you up with accessories, blasters, hands, all that kind of stuff. The wings are articulated. Finally, Playmates Toys never painted it, but the backs of the wings on Wingnut are painted. Now, they're kind of different, obviously, from the comic to the cartoon to various incarnations of Wingnut and Screwless. So these are straight from the cartoon. They're wackadoo. They're not like my favorite renditions of them, but they look so close to, to what I think of with Wingnut and Screwless. They are fantastic, but totally different demeanor and everything in the cartoon. But Trevor held them up and you can see that they are pretty dang big figures. So awesome all the way around. And then they went over the box for the Colossal Chrome Dome. He's a humongous figure. We've seen him shown off in detail. So he is coming. He's one of the next ones up at Target. And then, hey, what would be a NECA show without some San Diego Comic-Con exclusive action? So we got the Channel 6 News Crew 4-pack. Now, again, this was supposed to be SDCC, obviously. This will go to the NECA store online eventually. Later on, I'll have more details about that. And it will also be at Target as well. So you get new heads for the characters kind of lets you recreate the Catwoman from Channel 6 episode. You have Irma as a were-rat. You got Vern and Bird turtles, right? Vern is such a, you know what, you know what I mean? The box will fold into the Channel 6 studio. You have two Channel 6 cameras, two stage lights. So you can create the whole Channel 6 thing with all the different weapons and accessories and head porches and a cat. It's wackadoo, right? So again, this will be a Target exclusive, of course, because the Cartoon Turtles. They will also offer this online in a special online bundle on the NECA store. No word on, you know, if it's going to bring a pre-order or how they're going to do it exactly. But they did say that the bundle will include a big Channel 6 event, like a t-shirt, an iron-on patch, pin, Channel 6 poster. So, very cool. You can see it comes with a ton of stuff in it. This is going to be a very large four pack and they kind of sort of tease that they're looking into maybe three packs for next year for turtles and then they finally left us with a final image teaser of toka and razar perhaps in their cartoon incarnations so we'll see what happens with that but that wraps it up there are no pre-orders today there's nothing to make you shell out any cash these are all things that are upcoming this will tide you over to the fall and then get ready for october when they unleash even more NECA goodness. But, curious to know what you guys think about all of these figures. Which ones are you getting? Which ones are your favorite? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything NECA toys. And thank you again to Blaine and Randy and Trevor and everybody involved. They absolutely killed it. This was a very enjoyable presentation. Very well done. So, very happy with it. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I can't wait for those turtles, man. Those, <laughs> that wingnut and screws, those are killer. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.